Hi, I'm Billy. Today we will be looking at how to put a shoulder rest on your violin. The purpose of the shoulder rest is to help support the instrument as it sits on your shoulder while you play it. Shoulder rests come in many different shapes, colours, sizes and range from adjustable ones to very fixed non-adjustable ones. First we will be looking at the FOM shoulder rest. It uh, features feet that can be folded in, allowing for easy storage, and the distance between the feet can also be altered to fit uh, different sizes of instruments and this model of FOM fits a full size and three quarter violin. Next is the KUN. The KUN and the FOM feature very similar feet. However, the KUN has slightly more of a curve which is better for fitting people with a more petite figure as it hugs and curves around the shoulder a lot better, allowing for a tighter fit. The FOM has less of a curve and this is more suitable for people with a heavier build. Next is the Everest shoulder rest. This shoulder rest is quite unique as it Unlike most shoulder rests that feature a single curve, the geometry of the Everest features a slight twist in the shoulder rest. And what this does is it helps twist around the shoulder, maximizing contact between the shoulder rest and your body, allowing for more grip and a more ergonomic fit. Next we have another style of FOM shoulder rest. This one is very simple and it features two rubberized hooks that fit on the belly of your instrument and these two rubber straps that hook over the corners near the F holes. Next we have the PSR shoulder rest. This shoulder rest is just plain foam which has a slight curve in it to fit your shoulder and it comes with a elastic strap to fit the shoulder rest to your instrument. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to put a shoulder rest on your instrument. Today we'll use the KUN, FOM and PSR. Most shoulder rests feature a groove in the foot just here. What this groove does is it allows the shoulder rest to lock onto the ribs of your instrument. So you want to guide that groove over the ribs on your instrument and slowly push each side on further and further. One of the common mistakes that people make is that they put their shoulder rests on the wrong way. So when you're holding your instrument upright, the shoulder rest should have a downward curve and that's how you know it's on the right way. Additionally, you will definitely notice if it's on the wrong way as it will feel quite uncomfortable. Next, the FOM shoulder rest. The two rubberized hooks fit over the bottom of the instrument and these elastic straps hook onto the corners near the F holes.
to remove this, you can pull down, unhook the two hooks, and the shoulder rest should come off straight away. Next is the PSR shoulder rest, which uses this elastic strap to fi be fixed to the instrument. Now what you want to do is hook the strap over the end pin and then hook it over one corner of your instrument allowing it to be fixed. Now some people fix it to both corners of their instrument and um, it really does depend on the musician uh, whether they want to fix it to both corners or just one corner. To remove this shoulder rest, you simply unhook the strap and the shoulder rest pops off. One other shoulder rest that I didn't mention today is the Wolf shoulder rest. This highly customizable shoulder rest can be combined with a, another chin rest for our magic posture combination. If you'd like to learn more about the wolf shoulder rest and our magic posture combination, click on this video here. Thanks for watching.